Welcome to a free mini tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Ross. In this lesson, we're going to learn about parameter queries. Now, a parameter query allows you to have the user type in some value to limit the query results when the query is run. For example, if you want to see a list of all your customers from New York, you could put that into the design of the query, but using a parameter, we can do it on the fly so you can change it every time you run the query. Let's see how it works. Here I have a basic customer table with customer ID, a first name, last name, and the state that that customer is from. I've got a couple of customers from New York, a couple from Texas, and one from Pennsylvania. I want to create a query that'll show me all the customers from New York. So I'll go to Queries, and then New. I'll pick Design View and hit OK. I'll bring in the customer table and then hit close. Now I cover basic query design in my Access 101 class, so if this is unfamiliar to you, you should take my Access 101 tutorial first. I'm going to bring into the query my first name, last name, and state. Now I only want to see customers from New York, so down here in the criteria row, I'll put in New York, and Access will automatically put little quotes around it. That's fine. Now when I run my query, I can see there's only the customers from New York. And if I go back to Design View, I can change this in the design to any other state, like Texas, for example, and then run it. But I want the user to be able to type in that parameter when the query runs. So my users don't have to go in here into Design Mode to make this change. Plus, I don't want to necessarily have to save 50 different queries, one for each state. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and inside of square brackets, square brackets, inside of square brackets, I'm going to type in a prompt for the user. All right, enter the state, just like that. That's all you got to do. Now when I run my query, again, if I switch back to design view and run the query again, I see enter the state. I'll type in Pennsylvania. And there we go. So you can see with a parameter query, you allow the user to type in that value when the query is run. And you can put whatever you want pretty much within those square brackets to form your prompt. And that is how you create a parameter query. Now I've only scratched the surface. There's lots more you can do with parameter queries. Be sure to come by my website at accesslearningzone.com question mark GOAC102 because I cover lots more about parameter queries in my Access 102 class. And also don't forget to stop by the free tips and tricks section at accesslearningzone.com tips for lots more free tutorials just like this one.